friends, in this video for I Thought Wealth, I am going to talk to you in the topic building a new portfolio for the future. Tomorrow is another day. So, what happens in the future is likely to be very different from what happened in the past. In the investment world, past success cannot be extrapolated into the future. There comes a definitive moment when this must be very consciously absorbed in our investing. You must bring this into your thinking quickly and act. A market top is usually a time when you should do that. A market bottom is also a time when you need to create something new which will work in future. You may ask how is it possible that you are saying that in a market top and the bottom you need to reset your portfolio. In a market top, you take out stocks which have run too far and you probably create some cash. Or if you are the contrarian kind who can find stocks that didn't participate at all in that boom, which you think will participate in the future, then you can start building those positions. In a market bottom, you may be traveling with stocks from the market top which haven't worked, where your weight has been endless and you don't carry the same conviction at the bottom which you carried in the top, which means you need to replace ideas with low or no conviction with stocks where you carry high conviction at that point. It's important at a market bottom that you have very high conviction in every stock you own. All this will naturally lead you to reinvent your portfolio both at the top and at the bottom. At the top, you will probably carry more liquidity. At the bottom, you will be fully invested exactly where you have high conviction. You will not be invested anywhere where your conviction is running low. What this does effectively is, when you do this at the market top and the market keeps coming down, your portfolio does not fall as much as the market. In fact, sometimes it can go up also, contra to the market. And when you do this portfolio tightening and restructuring at the market bottom, from there, your portfolio is clearly going to outperform the broader market. Your efforts will bear fruit because of the intensity and focus that you have brought into your portfolio at the market bottom. These are actions which every investor must take. Sometimes it takes a very long time for some stocks to play out as you expect them to. Like I still have a few stocks from 2018 market top which I continue to own where things have not played out as fast as I thought they would. They played out as I thought, but the rate of change is not what I hoped it would be. So, the rate of change being slower, it means that I need to wait much longer. You may wonder, five years gone, how much longer are you going to wait? But that is entirely a function of my conviction in the stock. If after five years, I am all the more convinced and I am able to validate my conviction, then no harm in sitting tight. You have bought early, that is all, but you have not bought wrong. Effectively, investors must know their ideas intimately, clearly, and see how the idea will play out from that point in time. There is no point in looking at what happened in 18 and 23. I have to look at 23, I have to look at that stock in its current context, current business prospects. And from here, what the future is likely to look like? If the future is going to accelerate, I can't get tired of myself after having spent five years. I can't get tired of my investment after having invested five years. I've invested five years of time in addition to money. And if I make a wrong decision now, I'm going to lose the opportunity to make money and I'm definitely going to lose the time I invested. That is why, though I strongly recommend that you make significant changes in your portfolios both at the market top and at the market bottom by tightening it. You should do it judiciously and correctly. You should take inputs. You must validate your ideas with somebody else. You must be sure that you are thinking in the right direction. You must make sure that the themes that you are ideating at the bottom are themes which have imminent prospects. So that when the economy supports the market, your portfolio should take more support and do better. These are things which investors learn by habit, but never forget thereafter. So, this habit is something that you let run throughout your investment career.
however big you become, you still practice the same habits to more perfection hopefully. That is in essence what an investor can do to increase his performance, improve his longevity in the stock market and make his stay in the stock market an enjoyable one. Thank you for watching this video.